Hi, all of us want to be successful. To be successful, one desiring factor all of us should have is wonderful, fertile brain. Whether memory, creativity, new ideas, or you want to be innovative and you want to be genius, you need to have a very good brain. and in our workshops we have been talking about how we can improve memory by using different memory methods but some of us as we keep becoming older we keep losing our memory and also the brain start deteriorating so recently in a very famous hospital in hyderabad they have done one survey as to why brain loses its fertility why does it become you no know, incapable they found out that eight habits if you can avoid you can have wonderful brain the number one is many people they use ear phones all of us they keep ear phones and they keep listening to high volume means songs whatsapp videos or calls always ear phones in your ears and at high volume that is going to damage your brain so if at all you are using ear phones always play at low volume that is the first one you need to take care number 2 many people live in dark rooms don't know why light represents life and when you live in darkness brain starts losing its fertility so always make sure be it home or your drawing room your study room or office is always well lit if you can spend more time in the open area sunlight you will have wonderful brain number 2 number 3 many people they keep social isolation in the sense they don't mix they don't meet they don't mingle they don't interact with people they always want to be aloof sometimes it is okay but all of us know man is a social animal so the moment you keep to yourself the brain stops interacting and that's how it starts losing its fertility point number 3 number 4 most important thing is negative thoughts negative thoughts means most of us always worried if i do what will happen tomorrow what may happen next month what will happen what will be my future when things have to happen they will happen you being worrying anyway you can stop it not possible so some people they keep worrying more than required so don't unnecessarily let negative thoughts affect your brain because one negative thoughts will lead to the second one third one actually now the effect will be very less but the amount of thinking that we do the negative processing that is going to spoil our brain that is the point number 4 point number 5 is too much of screen time in the sense that all of us today we are on mobile phone on the laptop we are watching tv we go for movies on facebook and on twitter linkedin whatsapp and too much of watching you know screen time and that is going to hamper your brain's health so you reduce your screen time daily make sure that you have 1 hour or 45 minutes or 1 and a half hour so you decide how much time unless you are a software programmer what is the need for you to spend so much of time on the screen this you should avoid number 6 people don't move their body at all so especially people who sit and work office staff white collar job they don't move means you don't go and do exercise we don't go for jogging we don't do yoga we don't move our body so we we are like couch potato we always keep sitting on the sofa and we don't move our body once our limbs they don't move automatically brain gets affected this is a point number 6 now point number 7 is bad sleeping habits when we talk about bad sleeping habits i did a one wonderful course on sleeping habits but one thing i can tell you in this is every day make sure that if you are a kid you must have 7 hours of sleep minimum on a sunday 8 hours others like you and i who who we do li- less of physical work then minimum 6 hours and on sunday holiday you can sleep for 7 hours number 1 number 2 same time you should sleep same time you should get up so improper sleeping habits or insufficient sleep will also deprive the brain of its fertility and the now the eighth one is too much of sugar consumption so lot of us eat sweets including myself i love sweets 
and I put little more sugar in my coffee tea. But make sure that if you eat more sugar, doctors they say it is going to spoil our brain's health. So if you can avoid all these aid habits, you can have wonderful brain health. Once you have brain good brain, then what you can do, you can learn all those beautiful memory techniques and then keep practicing them. Keep using them. Be aware of these methods, and you can have wonderful memory. So if you can follow these eight things, and if you can. be aware of this eight things you can have a beautiful healthy brain and always we know that if you have a healthy brain you can do anything money will come money will go right physical health you can still develop but brain once it gets damaged it can't develop because you know the neurons once they die they can't take birth again so what we should do we must make sure that in life we must make sure that our neurons they don't die we should keep using those neurons and that's how you can have wonderful brain so remember this eight things and apply them and wish you very happy and healthy brain and success all your life see you this is called jesma selling up bye bye